And we're back, Nocturnal Duck here with a brand new deck just for you and your sweet, sweet head. And today I have an element deck for you. Going back to the elements. Alright, we're back with this Element Twin deck, and this is a powerhouse of an Element build, one of my faves. Basically, it's built entirely around Thunderkin Awakener. This is crazy. Basically, when he attacks, we bring back a Reef or a Scorcher from the graveyard to the battlefield attacking, and then it gets sacrificed at the end of your turn. So we get the ETBs all over again, which is really nice, but we want more than that. We want more value than that, so we use our Teferi Time Twist on the creature that we bring back with the Thunderkin and then we get double their effects plus we get to keep it plus we put a 1-1 one, one counter on it so that's crazy value for 2 mana it essentially turns this into casting this 2 times in 1 turn for 2 mana so that's really really nice we use Neoform in the exact same way we target the Reef and we can uh, tutor up something in the 4 drop slot and same for the Scorcher for the 5 drop slot so that's really nice as well. So we're getting super value from this ability. So you're basically only going to get this once per attack because they are going to block this and heaven forbid it stays alive because then the game's pretty much over. We're just filling up our board. So this is a heavy, heavy target. So we have a Tamiyo to be able to pluck it back when we need it late game or whatever, with the right timing, you know. Plus, her plus one is really good. You can go looking for the Thunderkin and fill the graveyard with things that you might need like the reef and the scorcher so that is really kind of handy so the overgrowth elemental is really good when it enters the battlefield you can put a 1-1 counter on the awakener and then he will actually be able to target bit bigger things but that doesn't really come into play it's there it's a nice little trick he's mainly in here because whenever something dies he gets stronger we gain life basically any elemental dies he gets stronger and we get one life gain. So that's going to come into play for us in a weird kind of way. Um, we have the Royal Scions in here because we want to discard the Reef or the Scorcher and then um, it's ready to go for the Awakener. But also plus two and Trample can really come into play for us. The um, Prime Speaker, man, this changes the game. Basically, if you have one of these out and one of these out, then you attack, you bring back a reef, get the ETB, and then you tap her, and then you can sacrifice the reef and tutor up a Scorcher or an Omnath, and that hasn't cost you any mana, which is absolutely crazy. But a side note is, uh, Neoform and Prime Speaker, you can only do that in a sorcery speed. So if you're attacking with the reef, which it is, if you attack with this, it brings back the reef attacking. So by attacking with the Reef, it puts the possibility that they're going to block it. And if they block and kill it, we, we, we can't Neoform or Prime Speaker tutor it up. So that is something to keep take note of. Um, but, you know, if that stays alive, because when they think it's going to get sacrificed anyway, then we're in, you know, party town. We can Neoform and Prime Speaker for the rest of the time. So that's really nice. Um, Omnath is here because we're going to have a lot of these, you know. We can play it and get two and then attack with the thunderkin and then get another one so then we've got a board full of elements we drop an omnath and then we do say eight damage to face and then we teferi time twist the omnath and then it's going to do another damage to us like you can really reduce the game down to being like four damage to be done and you've got a super wide board your board is just completely goes around most other decks the uh, trigger from the Risen Reef and all of these elements coming in, you will always have a handful of cards. And we also have the Cavalier of Gales. This thing is going to do quite a lot of work for us as well. Basically, he's going to give us a lot of, you know, card advantage. A flyer, which we can make a 7-5 with Trample. And um, when he dies, he gets shuffled back into the library. So he's always going to be either in hand or in the library for us to be able to target. And he's obviously better in the library. So we can just bring him out and get some card draw. Or if they put a big flyer up, we can match it. It really comes into play. Massacre Girl. 
this really catches the opponent off guard and it does this weird little loop trick for us where obviously it's going to sweep the board if we've got eight of these out one of this one of the overgrown elementals and then we drop a massive go it's going to kill all of these one ones and then we're going to gain that much life and this is going to continue to grow as this kills so potentially this can stick around and be something huge you know these two together when you have a bunch of these tokens can really kind of reset the game and potentially leave just Massacre Girl, which is good anyway, or, uh, you know, huge one of these. So there's there's a couple of cool little loop-de-doop tricks that can happen, and they definitely don't see this coming. They do not see this coming, and the fact that you can tutor it up really easy at the right time, it's just broken. So the main, main thing about this deck is it's a full toolbox deck. We've always got targets with this, and we've always got card digging into our deck. Um, Kiora to be able to untap the Prime Speaker, and that's crazy. If you consider being able to attack with an Awakener, bring back a Reef, get an ETB, tap the Vanifair, and sacrificing the Reef to be able to get an Omnath or a Scorcher, M more of a Scorcher, then use Kiora to untap the Prime Speaker, then do it again, sacrifice this to get a Massacre Girl or a Cavalier, whatever. So you can really go through all your deck at the right time. It's most definitely a toolbox deck and it just works. It works really good, you'll see in the videos. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. I mentioned Tamiyo digs in for the Awakener and fills the graveyard, plucks back at the right time. You can cherry pick the card from the graveyard with Tamiyo, so that's pretty good. But yeah, that's pretty much the deck. I uh, hope you enjoy the videos. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment and potentially expect another video this week. I'm thinking about one more before Theros drops, but yeah, I could just wait and my next deck be a Theros deck, which is exciting to even say, I have to say. I'm really keen for this new set and I've got a bunch of ideas brewing. I'm going to keep it a surprise. I might tweet it. I might tweet a photo of what I'm going to build. But anyway. Enjoy the videos, that's enough gin flapping from me. Don't forget, hit me up in the comments, I want to hear back from you guys and hear what you're excited about, you know, with this uh, Theros coming out and what decks you want to see and if you want me to build a deck, I'm really keen for that too. So, yeah, let's get into some games. Okay, I'm going to mulligan that. I'm going to put him back. Easy choice. So I'll the scry. No, thank you. Okay, so nothing for next turn. Hmm. Let me get another scry. No, we've got another land plus a reef. I'll lose two life here at least. I'm bound to gain some. Okay, so he didn't do anything. Okay, so. I'm gonna go like this. And like this. Done. That's perfect. Perfection. Another untapped land. <laughs> Actually, no, that wouldn't matter. But you might kill it straight away. Which would be amazing because then we know we're safe to play him. Yep, beautiful. Sure thing, buddy. And we'll just get him back. Okay, so no other land.
Okay, so I think we go for another red. So, we're at 14, which isn't the best, but I think we should be okay. Should be okay. Okay, it's getting a bit concerning. Quite the amount of concern. Um. So what do we really need here? Because I could definitely... I guess this guy... No, we... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yes. See, now that's good. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna keep that because we might be able to get another... Thunderkin. So that's going up to five, that's not good. We're gonna go no blocks. And then I think we can go... Old Reefy Poo. <laughs> And then... Senior Overgrown Elemental. Oh. And... We're gonna do this now. Get some blockers. Okay, so that's definitely put us a little bit more in the safe zone, but... That is a bummer. We can put up a couple of geese. Block those guys. No worries. Could have really killed him there. But as he's about to learn. Okay, so I think we could probably do that again. Cool. And then... could go with this guy boom what a nice combo
There goes all of the creatures. We'll just straight up board wipe. Yeah, so he wants that gone. No worries, buddy. Um, I'm gonna pay the two life because I got the. Now this is gonna be nice. No, no, nearly did it. Rebuild our board. He's not overly happy about that, I can tell. to block the Thunderkin for sure. And then he's gonna be very sorry when he sees what I do next. We can put that back and that back. Sure, whatever. Kiora, where are you? Okay. So he can see that he's in trouble. Okay. Now what are you gonna do? I haven't gone into a Kiora yet. So let's go. Kiora! Oh, amazing! Okay. And we go the other one. Make sure that can go back and that can go back. Whatever. Cancel that. And play this. Okay. You can just drop her. Cool. Okay, so it does have something to block in the air. Um. And then we're gonna go... You... Damn it. 
You don't have any. Now we're gonna go. Good old Thunderkin. That was a bad move. Okay, so now we're going to go... Just with a scry. Put him back. Done. Uh, all right. I'll drop the Kiora. And turn. Okay, so I think I know what I want to do. First of all, we're going to try and dig further in. Okay, sweet. That's who we want. That guy. On to you. And then we shall... Wait, we're supposed to... Into a four, dude. We don't have a four. Okay, so let's look for... Massacre Girl, shall we? Or even not just Neo form. No Neo form. Another one down. There's a Neo form. Oh, you kidding. God, that really sucks. Look, they had something cool there, but anyway. I think that's a game, buddy. <laughs> I'm surprised you stuck in there. Okay, I like that. I like this a lot. We'll go for a scry first. I don't need to. Next into the fabled passage, depending. I'm going to get a red. Cool. Ooh, wolves. Green, white, and black wolves, I see. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the scions. Draw a card. Okay, so we can definitely get rid of some of these things. Okay. 
Nice. Um, I think we go for the draw. Um, four or five, yeah, we can get rid of this. Okay, so now we can at least Neo form to find our dude. We'll discard this next. Actually, gonna kill the scions. Um, kind of need them alive. All right, so there you go. Is that idea? Another wolf. Okay, so we'll go for a scry first. Um, no, I've got one of you. I think we actually. Hmm. Let me just get these down the block. Draw and discard. Um, we'll get rid of a Neo form. No attacks. Okay, so. Hopefully, we can keep the Scions alive. It's a weird. Okay, so. Um. Two, so that would be three damage to him. That's fine. Okay. I think first we go. And this guy. Oh, yeah. Yep, that was nice. We'll actually hold that land in case we want to discard it. Um, yeah, we'll discard that. A2 life, because why not? Put you down. So that was a nice turn. Just reset the game. He's got more cards than me, but he's still drawing and taking a butt ton of damage. Wow. That was huge. Some sort of huge amount. Okay, well, I still want to draw. Get rid of the Lotus Field. We don't need that just yet. It's down. Let's go digging. Okay, so we'll put that back and that back for sure. Whatevs. We get seven in. Now he needs to put two creatures down, but I've got five in the air. He needs a board wipe. Okay. That's interesting. Cool, yeah. <laughs> That's the game. Okay, so this is a nice start. Would be good to find another land. Hopefully we scry one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Sure. Do don't have a red. Kinda sucks.
Okay, so I'll take a bit of damage here. Yep. I'm just gonna pass Tony. We can't do anything. Oh, there's a red. I don't need it just yet. We'll draw and discard. He's going to swing in for sure. swinging in with him. Oh, actually, no, you won't. <laughs> oh, look at this. Amazing. But you didn't see that one coming, buddy. I love that combo. It's just incredible. Yeah, we will find a land. Thank you very much. Another red. That comes in handy. Yeah, he's panicking. He just seen the huge maneuver. Now he's dumping his hand. All right, so. I think we could safely go with this fellow. And yes, we'll take that. We'll take that action. And then we shall go in with the process. Oh. And what do I have in here? I do have a... Um, so, I'll swing both of these at him, all of these at him. And that's you. Nice. Nice. But he's definitely going to block the Thunderkin now. <laughs> sure, that works really good. Let's get rid of that business. More end turn. Sweet. So next turn we're going Kiora. To the Scions, discarding the Reef and attacking in with the Thunderkin. Oh, we'll actually play the Reef and the Thunderkin. That would be better. We're going to take a bit of damage here, but that's fine. Oh, maybe not. Down is going to do anything there. Oh, my god. Oh my god. Alright, so let's gain some life. And then let's untap this. 
And then let's play this. Good, good. Okay, so now we play this. And action. Action. And it's tapped. Next to combat. All attack at you. Uh, I think we could all go at Nyssa. Feel bad, but this is just what's gonna happen. And we'll do that up here. Cool. 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 <laughs> cool. Awesome. Okay. And then we're going to flick him. So. Yes, let's get rid of the Thunder King for sure. <laughs> There's our voice. Cool. Alright, so discard four cards. So we definitely get rid of the scampers. And possibly a term no, not a Tamio. Neo form and the scions. Okay, so next turn we got a sweet one. We play this and then this. He's not going to enjoy that one bit. Okay. Sure. I didn't realize he's only got three lands. Surprised he's sticking around. I can't wait for our next turn, it's just going to be so fun. So very fun. Okay, so first things first, we go this guy. Target element that we control, I guess we go here. Okay, so if we go this guy, we can still... I think we just go like that. Amazing. Amazing. He doesn't have three lands, he's using his land as creatures, I see. So many triggers. <laughs> wow. 
okay. And now we play this. And we swing at you. We get back our scamberings. Thank you very much. the sounds we'll run tap here and we will go like this what a nice turn Sacrifice two creatures. I guess we're going to go. Okay, so we'll go to the attacks. Um, well, I think we have to get rid of the lily there. And the Nissa, I mean, sorry, both. And let's get our scampering. So she's gone, there goes all his land. And he goes to Nissa. And then we can go. Oh, I don't have any more. That was a waste. What not it? Wasn't it? Um, you got this guy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, I think we've been. Crazy deck. Crazy, crazy deck. And I think we just get the Thunderkin back. So that was a nice turn. Very nice turn.
cool. Yeah. Get a little shuffle and scry. Wait. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go wide here. He's attacking? Wow. Didn't expect that. Really didn't expect that. Oh, it's got vigilance. How does it? I am kind of weirded out by that. I don't know, but anyway. Moving on. So many lands. Okay, so we have to play this right. So, we are going to go double. Nice. Right, we're going to go to these two. One of you. One of you. Yep. That's the game. Um, some tapped ones, I guess. I'm just drawing our whole deck here. Okay, so blockers, please. That was amazing. That was so amazing. 